<sighs> Must have dozed off. I guess Ryoshi's still not back. It's pitch dark in here. Reminds me of the Looking Glass Corridor. Unlike the others, Mr. Wizard's world shifted into the Looking Glass Corridor at the end of his fairy tale. While the other worlds got rainbows and happy endings, his stayed dark and shadowy. His fairy tale isn't over yet. Of course it isn't. For Mr. Wizard, the only happy ending is one where Eureka Arasa loves him back. I know. I get it. Being with me won't make him happy. But he had fun playing chess with me, at least. Right? If it wasn't fun, I wouldn't do it. Huh? Hello and good evening. Lovely moon we're having. Mr. Wizard! I'm sorry for what I said. I should have considered your feelings. An apology? Good on you, Wolf. I mean, Wolf giving him advice. <laughs> Not literally Wolf being here, but you know what I mean. Mr. Wizard! Whoa! I'm sorry, too. I know how you feel, but I still couldn't stop myself. I... I figured you must have gotten sick of me and left me. No, I won't leave you. Why do you think I'm here? To pick you up, of course. You know this isn't the first time you've gotten lost, right? Is it... the second? More than that. What? Why do you always come find me? Well... Because I can't play chess without you. Oh, right. Now let's head home. Okay. Oh, but what about Ryoshi? See, Ryoshi found me and took me in. Believe it or not, he's a huge animal lover and he was really worried about me. Do you want me or your brother? Pick one. You, of course. But... I concede that your brother will worry if he comes home to find that you vanished. How about this? What's he doing with the black rose? You turned it into a cat, so now he has a cat friend. <laughs> this is way better than giving Gretel a rose. Did we just not go to Gretel's world? <laughs> Gretel has his own problems. Well, I guess we are technically in Gretel's world. Gretel didn't get the rose. Ryoshi in Gretel's world got the rose. Okay, I got it all cleared in my brain now. Meow. A cat! Problem solved, you see. She's so cute! And she looks just like me. Of course she does. I based her on your cat's clothing. Now you won't need to wear it any longer. Huh? What do you mean? We can't have two identical cats in here, now can we? Well, no, but... More importantly, I need you to come with me. There's something I want to show you. Oh. Okay. Did you leave your crystal world behind? Please tell me you did. Tell me Wolf talked some sense into you. Okay, not quite. But maybe. We'll see. Where will he take me next? Eee, I'm so excited. I'm nervous. We're here. This is your world, isn't it? Indeed it is. So what did you want to show me? Did something about it change while we were gone? Oh, hello! You just wanted to hug your human lady, didn't you? Huh? What, what made you want to hug me all of a sudden? Don't look back. 
I want you to keep facing forward. Okay. You're too trusting. If at any point I wanted to kill you, you'd be dead on the floor. Are you trying to give me nightmares? Oh. <laughs> the last rose. <laughs> it's a joke. What's with the rose? I'm giving it to you. Really? Yes. I want you to have it. What a gorgeous red rose. Thank you so much! I love it! Red for romantic love. Now take a look around. Huh? Oh! Ah, So cool! Let me see. Roses of all colors are blooming in here. Look how happy his eyes are. Ah! My heart. Sagoy! This is incredible! Roses as far as the eye can see! And in all different colors, too! Like the colors of a rainbow? Is this what you wanted to show me? It is. I asked Wolf how I could patch things up with you. He suggested that I give you flowers. But by that point, I had used up almost all of the ones I had. So then I had the idea to make use of the crystals. This way, it looks like you're surrounded by flowers. Yeah, it's great! I wonder how many there are in total. Roughly a thousand, I'd say. But the ones you see before you are all illusions. The only one that's real is the one in your possession. Well, it's still really pretty. So it is. That... it just hit me what he said. Uh, just hit me what he said. No, now I'm all in my feels. <laughs> Thousands of illusions, but the one in your hands is the real one, or the one in his arms is like the real one for him. And now I'm like, mm. oh, I've actually got tears. <laughs> I'm so stupid. <laughs> this boy. Uh... <laughs> what a lovely magic spell. It feels like I'm looking at a rainbow. A rainbow. Come to think of it, rainbow roses symbolize... Mr. Wizard? Frankly, I wasn't sure whether to go get you. I knew you could survive without me. I figured maybe you'd be happier that way. How very presumptuous of you. Well, in the end, you did come to get me, and was such a beautiful present to boot. Yes, that's true. Because you can't play chess without me, right? No, that's not it. It's because I would miss you. Wait, what? Ugh, I don't want to admit it. I don't want to accept you or your feelings for that matter. Because I know if I do, I'll feel bad for the ones who were erased. Mr. Wizard? They were ephemeral dreams who never truly existed. I... I understand. I was wondering when he brought all the Uruk, the, the last episode, when he brought all the Uruk, like. Yeah, all the Yurikos that got bad endings. If it's like, the only way he could cope with killing the woman he loved over and over and over again is like, they're not real. They're just illusions. You're not killing the real the real thing. They're just dreams. They're dust in the air. And so he's like, well, you're also dust in the air. So there you go. If I acknowledge you as real, that means I killed some real people. Oh, boy. Yeesh. Yeesh. To me, there was only one Eureka Arasa. The rest were just pawns. And with that belief, I dragged those who chose poorly to their bad endings. The rejected heroines were erased from the world. Their love never requited. Their existence forgotten. 
an unspeakably cruel fate. Surely I, of all people, know what it's like to be abandoned after failing to meet expectations. It's not your fault, Mr. Wizard. You were just following the Queen's orders. She's the one who sentenced them to that fate, not you. But I am the one who carried it out. While I had no say in it, the fact remains that I wronged them. But they cannot despise me for it. They cannot learn to overcome the pain and move forward like normal people. Because bad endings don't get an epilogue. All this time, I figured you hated the Pawn Aurises because you only loved Eureka. But it seems I was wrong. In truth, you felt compassion for the rejected heroines. But you had to suppress those feelings under your mask. Otherwise, your duty would have killed you inside. Every time you hurt one of them, you hurt yourself at the same time. I never wanted to know this pain. I could have been happy, if only I had stayed ignorant. Sure. But then you wouldn't be able to demonstrate the same level of compassion. You keep describing me as compassionate, but I disagree. You are! You've carried the hopes and dreams of the lost Arises on your shoulders this whole time. Everyone else might forget them, but you've always done your best to remember. Instead of running from the pain, you chose to confront it and work through it. You've been trying so hard for so long. I'm proud of you. <laughs> if I could, I'd reach up and pet your head like you always do for me. Aren't you afraid of me? Nope. Even though I try to kill you? Yep. Not just you, either. I've killed again and again, right in front of you. So how could you possibly choose to stay with me? Because I love you, Mr. Wizard. You're such a fool. You'd live a happier life as your brother's cat. No, you're a fool. Happiness is subjective. Your definition is not the same as mine. Well, what's your definition? My happiness is whenever you're happy. Oh, I really can't stand you. You make it sound like... Like I'm the only one for you. <laughs> Finally noticed that, huh? Like I said, all I hope is that my presence here can ease your loneliness even a tiny bit. I will always love and accept you. Even if the whole world is against you, I'll always be on your side. So you don't have to wear your mask around me anymore. You're the one who should take off your mask. What do you mean? I understand completely. After all, I've been bitter about my first love all this time. I thought she was my number one. I loved her madly. I wanted her. I told myself I'd do anything for her. She was on my mind every minute of every day. She was all I could think about. Because you're just that devoted to her. I'm not devoted. I'm obsessed. But that's just what happens when you fall in love, right? Nobody's satisfied with second place. As long as they're happy is a lie. We all want to be our favorite person's first choice. <laughs> and that wish has already been granted. Being with you has meant the world to me, after all. You mean... I've avoided this conversation for a long time. I made sure I was always one step ahead of you. Though I knew you were desperate to keep up, I refused to see it. 
You were just too similar to her. And I didn't want to use you as a replacement goldfish. But I was mistaken. She is the king. And you are a pawn. In that sense, the two of you are entirely different. And before I knew it, you had moved past me all the way to the other side. For a promotion? Yes, precisely. Before I knew it, you stood at my side as a queen. <laughs> the lines in this are so good! Deep down, I knew all along. I knew my fairy tale had reached its happy ending. Ah! Wh what's happening? <laughs> it's a rainbow! <laughs> it's a real rainbow, it's not even just like symbolism rainbow with roses. It's like the rainbow actually <laughs> came out. I need a minute. <laughs> I'm sorry. I actually need a minute. I feel so silly. Uh, crying over this boy. <clears throat> okay, I can I can pull myself together. I can pull myself together to finish this. And then I can cry in my happiness ice cream afterwards. <sighs> oh! Look at the rainbow! It's so beautiful! Yes, it certainly is. Though I prefer my trademark red and black. But, eh. Perhaps it's fitting for the life you and I will lead together. Mr. Wizard! I admit it. I lose. You don't have to wear the mask for me anymore. And you don't have to settle for second place. You can ask to be the first priority. The only priority. Because you're my princess. I love you. Cat's clothing and all. <laughs> uh, oh, please. Please. That was everything I could have ever wanted. <laughs> you could have ended it there. What's left? What's left that was tied up in such a beautiful rainbow bow? What's left? Checkmate! <laughs> Are they on their amusement park ride or do they have a bigger throne? <laughs> Look at her face. Like, hehe. <laughs> well, someone lost their hat. Yay! I won again! Hehehe! <laughs> At long last, I've caught up to you, Mr. Wizard. Now I just have to beat you one more time and you'll grant my wish, right? Only if you beat me. I will. Bet on it. You sound confident. You know me. Eternally optimistic. That reminds me. I never bothered to ask. What is your wish, anyway? It's... If you're going to say for me to be happy, I assure you, I already am. Actually, it's... a secret. Interesting. Not gonna pry? No need, since I'm going to win. Mm. Seeing as we're finally tied up, why don't we agree that whoever loses the next round has to grant the other's wish? You're changing the rules! It's important to be fair, don't you think? Fine then. Just makes me all the more eager to kick your butt. Now let's clear the board and start setting up for... <gasps> uh, if you could just move the mouth an inch closer. Just a little... Just the mouth on mouth. I mean, it's so close to being perfect. I'm gonna take it anyway, though. I don't care. You will not take this from me! I will not be upset. Maybe marginally upset, but only marginally. I love you, Yurika. Huh? <laughs> Checkmate. I win. 
I flipped the board around while you were distracted. That's not fair! You can't pull real world Eureka's trick on me! <laughs> you jerk! That's cheating! It's the only magic spell that can defeat you. But you just said it's important to be fair! All the more reason I wanted to win. You already beat me at the game of love. If I lost at chess, my ego would never recover. <laughs> now then, seeing as I won, what shall I ask of you? Eureka? My wish came true. Huh? <laughs> she just wanted one smooch. Just one little smooch. Ah, oh, I see now. Mr. Wizard, you truly are the only one who can grant my wish. But of course. I am your wizard, after all. So what was your wish? Actually, mine was already granted as well. Together, we possess infinite possibilities. Now, let's prepare for the next game. If you can surpass me, I'll grant as many of your wishes as you desire. Yay! <laughs> it's so close. Just an inch more. Just one more inch. That's all it would have taken for me to be the happiest little bean on the planet Earth. But you know what? I'm, I'm pretty much there anyway. And you guys can roast me in the comments all you want. Call me a simp. Call me names. Call me crazy. I don't care. <laughs> I'm a happy little bean. <laughs> and I will do my little bean dance in my chair. <laughs> because that's all I could have asked for. This guy getting yelled at, being called an idiot, realizing he's an idiot, admitting he's in love. Rainbow happened. Kiss happened. The two of them are finally happy. She doesn't have to be a cat anymore. I mean, I'm, I'm just thrilled. <laughs> ah, I can die happy now. <laughs> I need to wrap this up. Anyway. Guys, thank you for joining me. I, um, <clears throat> it was rather good, I thought. Yes, I, um, I have a clear favorite after story now. So, yeah, I mean, great, good. <laughs> I don't have to struggle, I have a favorite. I mean, there's still one more, though. Alice has left. We got a little sneak peek into his, so... I mean, I was already happy to see that little Sundari butt just popping up here for a bit. Maybe he'll surprise me and I'll... He'll just run away with number one somehow. I would be... Excuse me. I would be surprised if that happened, but... I won't rule Alice out. I mean, this is... His whole thing, after all. But anyway. I'm gonna shut up now. <laughs> get back to my bean dance. And, uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you for Alice's after story. Until then, see you later. <laughs>